You all have what you call psychic power. It is a sixth sense, truly. Psychic power is simply the ability to step out of your limited experience into a broader view, to step back, to feel more than the limited individual you have imagined yourself to be would feel, to know more than he or she would know. It is the ability to tap into the larger truth all around you, to sense a different energy. You all have this ability, yet some of you choose to develop it, while others allow their ability to remain undeveloped and far less useful. To develop your psychic muscle, you must exercise it, use it every day, all the time. Right now, the muscle is there, but it's small, it's weak, it's underused. So you'll get an intuitive hit now and then, but you won't act on it. You'll get a hunch about something, but you'll ignore it. You'll have a dream or an inspiration, but you'll let it pass, paying it scant attention. So the first step in developing psychic power is to know you have it and to use it. Pay attention to every hunch you have, every feeling you feel, every intuitive hit you experience. Pay attention, then act on what you know. Don't let your mind talk you out of it. Don't let your fear pull you away from it. The more you act on your intuition fearlessly, the more your intuition will serve you. It was always there, only now you're paying attention to it. There are three rules of psychic phenomena that will allow you to understand how psychic power works. All thought is energy. All things are motion. All time is now. Psychics are people who have opened themselves to the experiences these phenomena produce. Vibrations. Sometimes formed as pictures in the mind, sometimes a thought in the form of a word. The psychic becomes adept at feeling these energies. This may not be easy at first because these energies are very light, very fleeting, very subtle. Like the slightest breeze on a summer night. That you think you felt the rustle in your hair but maybe didn't. Like the faintest sound in the farthest distance that you think you heard, but can't be sure. Like the dimmest flicker of an image at the corner of your eye that you swore was there, but when you looked head on is gone, vanished. Was it ever there at all? That's the question the beginning psychics always are asking. The accomplished psychic never asks, because the ask sends the answer away. Asking the question engages the mind, and that's the last thing a psychic wants to do. Intuition does not reside in the mind. To be psychic, you've got to be out of your mind. Because intuition resides with the soul. Intuition is the ear of the soul. The soul is the only instrument sensitive enough to pick up life's faintest vibrations, to feel these energies, to sense these waves in the field, and to interpret them. You have six senses, not five. They are your sense of smell, taste, touch, sight, hearing, and knowing. Every time you have a thought, it sends off an energy. It is energy. The soul of psychics pick up that energy. The true psychic will not stop to interpret it, but will probably just blurt out what that energy feels like. Every feeling you've ever had resides in your soul. Your soul is the sum total of all your feelings. It is the repository. Even though it may have been years since you've stored them there, a psychic who is truly open can feel these feelings here and now. That's because, all together now, there's no such thing as time. Yesterday and tomorrow are both lies. All things are occurring right now. Every occurrence sends off a wave of energy that prints an indelible picture on the cosmic photographic plate. The psychic sees or feels the picture of tomorrow as if it is happening right now, which it is. Through the act of intense focusing, he or she is sending out an actual submolecular component of himself. His thought leaves the body, zings out into space, and goes far enough fast enough to be able to turn around and see from a distance than now that you have not yet experienced. The psychic gets a picture, sometimes with a shiver or feels a feeling. 
does not do any processing of the data, but simply and instantly describes it. The psychic has learned not to question what he's thinking or suddenly seeing or feeling, but merely to allow it to come through as untouched as possible. Because the psychic has not predicted the future, merely offered a glimpse of one of the possible futures, observed in the eternal moment of now. The eternal moment of now contains all possible possibilities. Everything has already happened in a million different ways. All that's left is for you to make some perception choices. It's all a question of perception. When you change your perception, you change your thought. And your thought creates your reality. Whatever outcome you could anticipate in any situation is already there for you. All you have to do is perceive it. Know it. This is what is meant by, even before you ask, I will have answered. In truth, your prayers are answered before the prayer is offered. Your experience is created by your choices and your belief in your choices. That belief will be created by your thoughts. And those thoughts arise out of your perceptions. That is, the way you look at it. So the psychic sees the choice you are now making about tomorrow and sees that played out. But a true psychic will always tell you it doesn't have to be that way. You can choose again and change the outcome. Live in this paradox. There are more than one of you moving down this timeline. 